Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have reported regarding the release of third positive indigenization list of defense equipment. The list consists of 101 major equipments or platforms to be completely indigenized by December 2025 with effect from December 2022. The third list is built on the first list of 101 items and second list of 108 items that were released on August 21st, 2020 and May 31st, 2021 respectively. Now we have started seeing the impact of third indigenization list. Armed forces are going ahead with indigenous options as the door for foreign OEMs are closed for these items. The one such system is LORIS or Long Range Reconnaissance and Observation System which was part of the recent list. Now we have recently seen the induction of Tata WAP, Kalyani M4 and Tata QRV or Quick Reaction Fighting Vehicle. Apart from these three vehicles, there was one more system inducted by Army which is Ultra Long Range Observation System developed by TASL called Rajak. This system is very similar in capability with the LORAS which is developed by Elbit system of Israel. Rajak is a sensor system which provides long range day and night time surveillance. Rajak has been designed and manufactured by TASL. It has been found to be very effective in countering infiltration. The system consists of long range day camera, thermal imager, laser range finder, GPS, DMC and SWIR camera mounted on a compact stabilized pan tilt and controlled through a compact console. The solution is not just an indigenous product but also superior to presently developed solution in almost every area and functionality and ease of use. It can detect a human target from a range of 18 km and a vehicle from a range of 26 km both during day and night. There is one more quick update regarding which we will discuss in this video. It is related to the autopilot system of Donia Doe 228. As per the latest expression of interest released by HAL, it is looking for an Indian firm for developing the autopilot system for the aircraft. This is being developed for the civil variant of Donia Doe 228. Recently, we have also reported regarding the maiden flight of Donia in Arunachal Pradesh under Uran scheme on April 12th making Alliance Air to become India's first commercial airline to fly Indian made aircraft. Now as per the EOI, HL is looking for 18 autopilot system and the order can go up to 100 depending upon the domestic requirement of the aircraft. Presently, HL manufactured DO 228 aircraft are fitted with Bendix King or Honeywell KFC 250 or KFC 325 autopilot system. HL's plan is to equip Donia Do 228 aircraft with the latest autopilot system with seamless compatibility with onboard glass cockpit, EFIS and other systems. This will further increase the number of indigenization content in the aircraft. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.